Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to make a wall decoration. So I went to Google and I searched for quotes that will inspire me. And then I found this. It says, heal, learn, grow, and love. I don't know why, I just like it. So I look for another quote that has to do with one of the words in this quote, if that makes sense. For the first one, I look for quotes that is related to love. And I found this. It says, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. Then I went back to Google and tried to find a quote that is related to learning. Although for this one, it's kind of hard because most of the quotes are related to like learning subjects at school and I don't want it to be like that. But eventually I found this one that says, your potential is endless. But I had to include the word learn there so I changed it to Learn your potential, it is endless. The next one is about growth. And I'm telling you, there's a tons of quotes about growth, but I'm in love with this one. Grow through what you go through. It just rhymes perfectly and I don't know, I just love it and I chose that one. And at last, I found one about healing. It says, heal yourself first and the rest will come later. Now let's get started on making this wall decoration. So what we need is four pieces of paper with the same size and one with smaller size. And there's no exact measurement for this, it's really free. And then I should have shown you this but I didn't record it so I'm sorry. But yeah, I've made the sketch before on a grid paper just because it's easier than doing it directly on the blank paper. Well, actually my mom made the sketch and I'm just tracing it over the tracing paper so that the sketch will appear on the blank paper and then you just have to trace it again with a marker. Here is the second sketch and for the moon I use kind of like a small plate and just basically do the exact same thing like the previous sketch and after that repeat for the third and fourth sketch. Once all four of the sketch are done, just go back and trace it again with a permanent marker. But if you're an expert on calligraphy or this kind of handwriting, you can totally skip all the tracing parts and directly write on a blank paper with a permanent marker because that will save you a lot of time. And again, repeat the step for the third and fourth paper. Now it's time for the coloring parts. So for the, I'm gonna call it like headline quotes. I use blue and green to make kind of like an ombre colored text just so that it would stand out from all the rest of the black writings. Then just repeat that with the same color for the heel, love and grow. Okay, headline quotes are done. Now it's time to color the moon. And since this is like a galaxy themed decoration, I'm using the same color, blue, green, and I added black as well. But before that, if you're using watercolor paper, I suggest that you wet your paper with water first before giving it any colors. I don't know if that's the correct sentence, but anyways, yeah, do that so that the colors blend in more evenly and that will be really really helpful because the colors won't spread to where you don't give water to it if that makes sense another tip for you if you're using watercolor paper is that if you mess up you can simply wet a brush, a clean brush, and then drop some water on where you messed up and then use some tissue to like suck the colors up. Then just repaint it with the color that you want.
for the second one, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gradually increasing the amount of pain towards the wolves. Yeah, I'm not gonna explain this part. By the way, keep in mind that I've watered this paper before. That is why the color only stays in that triangular shape and it doesn't spread out of it. These are the third and fourth papers and I did combine them on the back with a tape just for the sake of this coloring process but I will be separating them when I put it on the wall. Coloring is done, now I'm outlining the walls and adding some other details with a permanent marker. And you can totally color the walls if you want to, but I would like it to be just plain white, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Moving on to this last piece of paper that will be in the middle, I've reversed the colors so the background will be like the whole galaxy thing and then the headline quotes will be in white. Once the whole thing is covered with this galaxy paint, I left it overnight and the next day I used the same method like the first one. I traced the headline quotes over the tracing paper. And again, if you prefer to do it directly on the paper, it's totally fine. I just don't want to make a mistake, so I did this process. After that, I retrace everything with a brush and white paint. It is definitely easier to use a white permanent marker, but the color just doesn't pop up as well as paint, so I decided to use paint instead. I also gave it a black outline and some shadows to make it stand out more.
The last and final part of this project is to add the white stars. You can use a permanent marker for this, but again, I prefer to use white paint. Make sure to cover your picture and the calligraphy though, because you don't want to have white paint sprayed everywhere. Repeat this step to all of the galaxy parts of the paper to make it look more galaxy-ish. Here is the final look of this whole mall decoration thing. So at first, me and my mom wanted to put this whole thing in her bedroom but then we realized that the bedroom wall has the same color of white with this um, picture background so it doesn't look good and then we decided to move it to the bathroom and here it is. Also, we did change this one picture because the wolf doesn't really look like a wolf. It kind of looks like a dog and we added this hill and yeah i think it looks pretty good so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of this kind of videos and also turn on the post notification if you want to be notified whenever i post a new video thank you guys for watching and see you guys next friday bye